Hey there, it's Joe Lines, and uh, someone wrote me the other day about saving images with web scraping. Um, there, of course, is a built-in URL to download file command in AutoHotKey. Um, the user that wrote me said that was having problems with it, and I remember when I used to work in the corporate office, I did as well. I think it might have had something to do with the proxy. Um, I was behind a proxy, and I couldn't use it. Um, I still have included it here as an example, just so you can see. This is the simple way. Simple built in way to download so if you have the URL right this is the simple easy way to say hey give me this um, this URL and so I have it here in a variable um, so I pass it the variable here and then I'm gonna I'm gonna tell it here what name to give it um, so that's the first version using this and then um, I was chatting with Maestrieth. Um, I had a similar function, but I borrowed from his. It's a little more streamlined than mine was. And uh, there's a um, this com object. You can um, create it, and then you save the stream, basically, this ADO DB stream. Actually, how is that? that, that no, that is right. Yeah, that's the com object. Um, here's the ADO. And, uh, and then you save that as a file. And... Um, in this version, what I've done here is I have it look, I split out the file name, um, and so that way it will look at the file name that's given on the website and will automatically save it as that file name on your computer in the defaults to the default folder, but you could, of course, include a different path if you want to work. It's, it's, it'll default to the folder the script is running out of. So let me go back here. Here you can see right now I don't have any images. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run this. Actually, let me... Let me see if I can get both here so we can see it um, as it happens. I don't need that or that. Um, yeah, I have a part two to this I'm going to show you here in a second um, where I loop over a bunch of links. So here, now when I... Um, I'll just double click it from here. So it's this version. Actually, it's this one right here. All right, so I'm going to launch it from here. This is going to run it, and you'll notice the two files get downloaded to my local directory. Um, that's let me um, extra large icons, small icons. There we go. So here's Wonder Woman. Um, so that is how, if you have the URL, right, you can use either the built-in URL downloaded file, um, or you can use this function, which I'll post on the web page, um, and, and download it. A, and, and it really doesn't have to be an image, right? In this case, we're doing images, but it could have been, you know, a PDF, a Word doc, it doesn't matter, right? Uh, a binary file, so not a text file. Um, so you're not doing web scraping with it, but we just need to download the file. The second example I want to show is let's go and there are a little bit of bugs in here i haven't worked out all of it because i don't honestly download images but um or or a bunch from the web but what i've done here is at the top i'm still using the same function um, this function we used in the past one the difference being is i have a i did a google search hold on a second um of gal gadot and um so there are hundreds if not more, thousands, I don't know. Um, actually, I do know, because uh, let me let me go back So to my script. So in here, I get I connect to my IE window, that's what it was, and this message box images length, that's going to tell me how many images, and when I say images, um, this is, you can use the DOM to say images. However, um, if there are any other images on your web page, it's going to pull them in too. It's not isolating it to, to a specific area, right? It's anywhere. In this script... I'm sorry, this web page. Um, there are other things up here, like this Google thing could be an image. That um, that button is probably an image, and this over here could be an image, right? Um, however, what I did was I said, give me the length of all the images, and then um, I'm going to... I turn off this just because I'm using a while loop, and I, I um, it would cause an error here when it got to the last one, so this just turns it off. And um, I'm going to get the links of all of the... Um, actually, that... Yeah, that should have been images... It still works with links, but um, I don't know why my cap locks is on. So hopefully this will work and not uh, break on me. Um, so it's going to download all the images. But what I've done is I say loop over all the images, um, store them in this ELE, and then get the um, 
if the href, so basically the hyperlink of that image has this in it, which is the, if you look here, um, let's see if we can see it from here. Eh, it's not as, as obvious there, but when you're looking at it as a, as an object, you'll see, um, there, this prefaces all of these links. So if that's in there, that way I'm getting rid of some of the ones that aren't in this, right? Because these are, those are not on the Google image res and this at the beginning. So if that's in it, what it's going to do is this is a little complex here, but, um, I'm going to first split the string off of this front part, which is what we were looking for. And I'm going to basically, by getting the second one, I'm going to get rid of that front part. Um, and then what I do is I say, you know what, I'm going to string split again. Um, oh, actually first I, sorry, I, you are, I decode it. And then I'm going to string split off of, um, the question mark or the ampersand, because also those are, I, I don't care about the, um, parameters after the, the file. Um, and then I'm going to insert that into an object. Uh, and then what I'll do is I iterate over that object, passing the, the value to my function and it's going to, um, save it locally. So let me go ahead. Let me see. That was the other script. So, oh, it actually exited. So I'm going to, I'm going to launch this one. Now, when I hit my hotkey, you can see there's 418 images, um, because I'm doing here document images length. So it's 418 images on this page. And then when I hit, okay, it's going to start iterating over them and saving them. At least it's supposed to. Hello. Is it running? It's it's running. Boy, maybe that, maybe that had to have been, oh, you know what? Uh, it does, it does have to be links. I'm sorry. Let's try this again. So I'm just, I just changed that back to links because, uh, the href is off of a link, not off an image, I believe. And now it looks like it's uh trying here. Come on. There we go. And so, and this is why I noticed, I'm not sure why every once in a while it comes up with an error. Um, but honestly, I don't, I don't really care for my purposes, but you get the idea that, um, it is going and getting all of those images and saving them into this folder. So it's awesome in, in web scraping, you can get a list of all the, you know, images and then just go and start downloading all of them. Um, obviously I'd have to go look at and see what, what in the world is acting funny here. Access is denied. Ah, some, some pages I think have, um, um, protection is the easiest way for me to describe it, uh, security and, and it won't allow you to, to access the URL, um, like that. So that's the issue. Um, what we could probably do is just build in a, um, actually maybe we, maybe we just leave that off. Let's turn this off and see if it, it does it again. Get rid of all these. And now come back to auto hotkey, save it, reload it and run it with that error off. Um, it, I think that that should still is it running. Oh yeah. I must've closed. It must've closed down. All right, here we go. 418 images and we're going to plug along here. It's, it's going. Now, of course, it's not going to get all the images because some of those it just couldn't access. Um, however, I was getting that warning, which was annoying. Um, and, and I noticed some of them are, it looks like that doesn't have the extension to it. And so maybe that's the other um, issue I'd have to do is maybe some files don't have either don't have the extension or I need to add a little bit more of a sleep or something involved in the, uh, the function to let it process everything properly. But um, as you can see, it's getting quite a few images. Let's, let's let it go. I should have put something at the end telling me my script was done running. Um, but let's change this back to details and how are we up to now? Um, four items. Why is it 114 items? So it's plugging along and it's downloading all of these. Um, and this time we're not getting that error. So let's go back into, I don't know, does large icons work? I guess it does. Okay. Um, so that's the easy way for downloading files. Again, doesn't have to be images. Of course, if you're 
um, if it is images, that's where um, this part you can get it right. But um, if you're iterating over the um, files or whatnot that are links, then you'd want to you wouldn't want to use images here. You'd use links. All right, thanks.